sweet. Let's go see that. I want to see this one come in. So this is a huge freighter getting loaded with iron ore pellets. We're in Marquette on Lake Superior. What's the name of it? What's its name? Lee A. Tregurtha. Lee A. Tregurtha? Yeah. It's a weird name. Where's the Over there. And it's a back this way. Oh, this is fine. Is she up high or Correction, this is the James L. Oberstar. So now this boat is here to get loaded with those red chutes just like the other one did on the other side. Yeah, you're getting it going. I love you for starting a fire. The new train works awesome. Wonderful. Yeah, that train that I bought. So it's day. Making vids. What's today? The Today's six? Friday. Yeah. So I've been here, been going 68 days. Today is day 68. We are leaving the Oka camp and we're going to go into Wisconsin find some cheese cheese and then cheese. go to Minneapolis tomorrow and you can't really see it but Lake Superior is right over there cheese there it is it's a pretty little town it's country oh they have a window oh it's a trailer There's the cows. These are cheese curds. See how this goes. We're at a cheese farm. Look at all the cheese. Not a cheese farm. Cheese factory. This is Gouda. These wheels of Gouda are stored in a special curing room and age on Dutch pine planks, which absorb the liquid as the cheese ages. As it ages, it develops a caramel sweetness and has a light crunchiness from cheese crystals, especially in the older cheeses. <laughs> This is the brine tank. 
It contains salt and water, and during the brining process, the cheese will absorb some of the salt. This is the only way salt is added to our cheese. The amount of time the cheese stays in the brine tank is determined by the size and weight of the cheese. Our cheese will stay in the brine for 60 hours or two and a half days. So there are some cheese wheels in that far tank over there. I don't think there's any in that one. Cheese in the center of the milk from the second milking is also used. I need for cheese making is sold to a local dairy company. So the Marie Gouda is used making an old Dutch Gouda recipe. They milk their cows at 5 a.m. and it's piped underground to the creamery. Aw. Cheese making. Current away. When the cheese fat is about one half to three quarter full, it's time to add cheese cultures to the milk. <laughs> this is where they do it, but they don't make cheese on Saturdays. Yeah, that's what we ate last night. Cheese, cheese, cheese. I love the cheese. dog house looking things. Why are they in there? Oh, this makes me not want to love cheese so much. Not want to love cheese so much. I think they're weaning those off from the mothers. They're weaning them from their moms. That's sad. Each milking takes five hours to complete. Five hours? They milk again at one o'clock. Wow. Are you guys ready to go back on time? That's cool. Sorry, Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. There's the cows. I hope they're happy. At, at your own risk. They don't look sad. They don't look sad. Well, we haven't seen them up close yet. Oh, look at that, that brush they got in there. See, it just always twists and they can run up to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and these are the babies. You're going to make Gouda one day. Hi, baby. Oh. Can I pet you? Hi. Oh my god, I want a cow so bad. Look at your baby cow. We'll what are you doing? I think it's a nipple. Oh, you can't have that anymore. Look, shriek. Oh. It's sucking my thumb like it's a it's a nipple. You poor thing. Oh. You have to eat this food. I'm gonna buy a cow. It's so pretty. Yes, you know, they're trying to wean them. I know, I nipple. can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> You're over here teaching them. No, nipples are okay. <laughs> they're just so darn cute. We got, oh, that's for the bottles. The younger one. Oh, these are baby yeah, oh, yeah. babies. These are really, oh, yeah. Hi, these are baby Newborns. Still having trouble walking. Oh, yeah, it is. It's much smaller. Yeah. Here come the cows for their one o'clock milking. Milking? Look at all. They just know where to go. They know the drill. Wow, some of those udders are very full. Go in there one? Yeah, let's go watch them. Wow, they got them in there fast. 
Now they have to hook those little things up to their little teats. They knew exactly where to go, too. Yeah. They're all facing the right way. <sighs> they said it takes, what, five hours to... I think so. That's what you said. Everything is stainless steel. Look at how they're raised up off the ground. Notice how there's no poop in there? They're going to be pooping while they're in here, though, so then they got to wash it. They must clean it. Yeah. It's cleaning the udders. What is he doing? Oh, is that what he's doing? Looks like it, yeah. Peroxide. Oh, yeah. Is what it looks like. Yeah. No, it looks like iodine. Oh, yeah, iodine. That's what I meant. Oh, he's going to hook them up. Yeah, he's going to wipe them. Look at all the, the different rags they use. Mm-hmm. He uses a different one for each cow. Good. Interesting. Sanitary. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. He throws them in that bucket. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going right now. You can kind of see it, yeah. Yeah, you can hear him pumping. Mm -hmm. This cow's like, what's up? Oh, I see the milk coming in yeah. down in that one. There's two right there that have trackers on their legs. I'm guessing that's a tracker. You smell them. If you just looked behind you. She's terrified. Absolutely terrified. All right, come on, Bubba. It's okay. <laughs> Hank, you better get used to cows because I want one. But how are those big animals? Is that a, their silage? Yeah. They don't have big silos. Is that them? Oh. Uh, yeah, they got other cows. They got a loader over there. Oh yeah, I think they put the cows in that area. In that area, and just have. Oh look, he's going out to get the hay bales. See that blue tractor out there? Yeah. 